Hi, this is Ciara, and this is Reading Arsenal. Today I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. My bookshelves consist of what you see behind me, and I'm going to give you a closer look in my tour. I organize my books by genre, and then alphabetical, and then sometimes by type of book. It's kind of a mishmash of everything. I usually like to reorganize my books every, every so often. It usually depends on whether I'm just fed up with the shelf, or we'll just have to see what's on there. So without further ado, here's my shelf. Here is a pan of my entire collection of books. It's a little disorganized right now as I'm still in the process of discovering homes for these books. I'm going to be showing you each shelf of each bookcase in greater detail. There's about four bookcases and each shelf is different. This is the first shelf on the top left hand side. It's kind of disorganized right now. Firstly, you can see my collection of manga. Next on their side is my secondhand books. And afterwards, it's just a mishmash of different books, series, uh, and other books. The next shelf beside the previous one is for books that are written in a way that's unconventional, like a diary, for instance. And the rest is my LGBTQ plus collection, which I hope grows in the future. The next shelf over is my Cassandra Clare books, and then some fantasy, and some World War II fiction. The next shelf down on the left is the high fantasy, then some YA contemporary, and then a mix of genres ending the shelf with Michael Grant's Gone series. The shelf beside is my adult mystery genre shelf. It contains books like Gone Girl and Silence of the Lambs. It also consists of the Suki Stackhouse novels, of which I have not started yet. The next shelf consists of mainly Rick Riordan novels, of most of which I have not started yet, and then there's my YA fantasy books. Down a shelf on the far left is my horror shelf. The Walking Dead, Edgar Allan Poe, and H.P. Lovecraft are on this shelf, as well as some Stephen King. The next shelf is my non-fiction shelf, which consists of memoirs and photography books, among others. These are my vampire books, with some historical fiction and a graphic novel tacked on the end. This is probably one of my more weirdly organized shelves. It has Scott Pilgrim, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pan series, some series that I might give away but haven't decided yet, my lovely leather Game of Thrones books, and some superhero graphic novels. This is my classic shelves. It has plays, famous works, and every kind of Green Gables book because I got them as a gift. <laughs> This is my sci-fi slash dystopian shelf, which has some graphic novels at the end. This shelf contains novels by L.J. Smith and some other fantastical novels, and then some books by Ellen Hopkins. Next is what should be my Harry Potter shelf, however I didn't press record or something because I can't find the footage. Anyways, this is my adapted slash fractured, fractured literature slash fairy tale shelf with some Margaret Atwood in there. These are my bottom three shelves. First up is my D&D shelf consisting of all three fifth edition books, playmat, Legos, and other things I use for characters and NPCs. And also my D&D binder.
Next is my old school stuff from my two-year library and information technician program at Algonquin College. And then some more random notebooks and binders from that time. Then my oversized collection, which includes pop-up books. Next up is the top of my smallest shelf, which has a cool collection of books and various topics, along with the display of library-related pulp fiction, which I became kind of obsessed with. Next, as you can see, I have a Funko Pop figure of dog meat from Fallout 4, my piggy bank, and my cup that holds all my bookmarks. I also have my book jar, which contains all of the books in my to-be-read pile. I got this idea from Pinterest. Next shelf down is my favorite bookshelf. This shelf is always in the works because I have so many books and it's hard to pick a favorite. A few of these books I have not read, so technically they should not belong in this shelf. This shelf is short of my uh, kids' book shelf. I really like how it's organized. The very last shelf is where I keep my A Series of Unfortunate Events books. I hope you enjoyed this video and thought it was entertaining and just kind of an insight into my personal reading organization and book organization and stuff like that. If you like this video, please like it and please do subscribe if you enjoy this video and check out my other videos as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Today I'm going to be reviewing two graphic novels. They're both horror graphic novels and they are both pretty popular and either are going to be made into a television show or already are a television series. Let's get started. first graphic novel I'm going to be reviewing and giving my thoughts on is Lock and Key by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez.